All right, train smarter, not harder with Lisa Reed's top two fitness and nutrition tips. It's just in time for all our dads for Father's Day and as well as the entire family. And it's all tonight on Toyota Sports Talk. Live from News Channel 8, this is Toyota Sports Talk. Welcome to Toyota Sports Talk. I'm Erin Hawksworth. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, about once a month, we change things up on this show and we talk about health and fitness. Tonight's guest, she's got some incredible experience when it comes to that arena. She's a former strength and conditioning coordinator at the University of Florida. She was the first female strength and conditioning coach at Navy. She was also tennis icon Monica Sellis, private trainer. She's a former gymnast and has accomplished many fitness goals of her own. She was crowned the 1999 USA Nationals Fitness Champion. And now she runs Lisa Reed Fitness, which is an in-home personal training business. And I'd like to introduce her to the show right now. Lisa, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks you for the intro. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I always like to pump you up. I mean, I couldn't even get in half your credentials, but I tried. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? You brought some hurdles in for yes. us. I see a lot of props over here. Um, let's start with train smarter, not harder. Yes. We're getting into a little mobility. Right, so a lot of people just go to the gym, they get on the treadmill and they go lift, or they go for a run. What you really have to do is stop, and let's work on the movement before you pump those muscles and go for the run or go for that lift. So these drills today, it works on your mobility. Everyone's tightening your hips, from driving maybe in the car too long and sitting in traffic to sitting at your desk all day. When you have tight hips, increases tight hip flexors, sore back, mm. no core. So all these exercises actually increase range of motion in your hip joints and glute activation. So it's a great warm up to do before you go run and before you lift. And how important is that? I mean, many people may overlook something like this. I don't have time. I don't need it. Mm. Um, explain why this is really beneficial. Well, many people have low back pain. And the reason is they probably have tight hips, they have no spine uh, mobility, so they can't move like up and down to a squat. Or they think they can't squat because mm you know, they're too tight in their right. hips. Yeah. Well, these are gonna increase your range of motion so that you can do the everyday activities, like whether it's playing with your kid and, you know, have a happy Father's Day to, you know, the athlete for sure. Like every athlete will warm up these kinds of drills mm -hmm. and everyone at home should do so too. All right, well, let's uh, let's get to it. Show right. us a little so. bit about how, <laughs> take us through a warm up. With, and what are these hurdles called, by the these way? These are Prism Smart Hurdles. Okay. And they're easy, they're compact, they come with a little handle. So it's great, you can leave them in your garage, you can take them out to the park, but they're excellent. Instead of like the fancy track hurdles, mm -hmm. now you have your own set. Cool. So the first one we're just gonna do is up and over. I have to so move. this one works, <laughs> it's your hip flex it's driving the knee up to your chest without rolling. So it's gonna work on your posture. See how awesome they are? They just knock down and you pick them back <laughs> up. <laughs> the next one is a glute hip mobility drill. So okay. now I'm working on your glute activation. So you're focusing on your glute and, there. And the rotation. Oh. Okay, we have a little small set here, <laughs> we it's have, okay. We have too many props here. <laughs> so up and over. So notice I'm not, I'm trying to keep my hips square. Right. And I'm going up with my knee, good, drive it over. Good, it's nice and slow. Get the hips rotating. Anytime that you can rotate that hip and really just work the range of motion in the hip. Mm -hmm. So the next one I could do is an agility drill. So. Now you're gonna move, okay? Whether you're going for a run, maybe yeah. you have to sprint across the street. Well, you make sure that your, your agility is great. Works on your core, your low back strength. So this one is up and over, but now I'm skipping it. So I'm gonna go one leg up and over, light on the toes. Okay. So again, agility works on, you could work on good running form from the dads to the little athletes out there, mm -hmm. all essential. Now the last one I'll demonstrate is a under over drill, so this is great for that spine mobility. So when you're sitting all day and your back is round, yeah. this one really works. I'm getting nice and deep, low underneath the hurdle, and then up and over. Wow. So it's movement before you train your muscles. If you don't do this, you're just gonna increase the tightness and increase an injury. Okay. So an up and over. So there's lots of variations. I can put a YouTube video if anyone wants to contact me tonight. Yeah. I'll send you a little tutorial on them. Awesome, and where can you find these hurdles? So I've never seen website. these before. Yeah, these are awesome. So they're nice and easy, compact, they come with the handle. Prism Smart Hurdles. 
and you go to my website shopping cart or prison fitness group Com. They have a 15% off for Father's Day, so it's a great gift for yeah. every dad that has tighter hips. Men have tighter hips. Tight Why is that? Um, they have uh, they have testosterone that's the building of the strength of the muscle, so which makes your joints and your hip mm. tightness. And I think the flexibility. You know, just the time that we all spend in front of the computer, mm -hmm. sitting, sitting this. in traffic, it's it's tough, and you have to take the extra time for this and get that mobility going. Um, what other tools do you have here? I know you have some other yes. props so, for training smarter, not harder. Yes, awesome, thanks, Erin. After you've done the mobility drills, then you can then do, start doing your workout. So I'm all about in-home training. Mm -hmm. So PRISM has an awesome home boot camp program. So all of the equipment you see here from the mats to a foam roller, to a medicine ball, to a band warm up. And I'll post it on Instagram later if you want to see like a whole boot camp workout. Right. You can do all in your own living room, a band, and it has different resistance level. And what's awesome too, they have this kettlebell, so you can fill it with rocks, you can take it to the beach, you know, fill it with sand. So, you know, if the females don't lift as, you know, the wives don't lift as much as the husbands do, that's fine, or what, for Wow, the I've kids. never seen that. And then you can make it own. So I, I did some. You just some, put some stuff in, the, what'd you put in there? Um, well, I put a 10 pound weight, because I <laughs> didn't go out and get rocks, but, <laughs> but you can do goblet squats with it. So, I mean, it's just well, like yeah, doing. Well, yeah, show us some of okay. that. <laughs> so your, your core is tight, you've done your mobility drills. Now you can drop those hips into a squat and then drive it up but you can do a lot you can do kettlebell swings you can do pass-throughs and lunges I mean, and that would be great for travel as well I you mean can press realistically it. you're not bringing a kettlebell with you on no. vacation but you can easily do that and find some things at the hotel or wherever you're traveling to Save to pack in there yes. build in that way I love that idea yeah, this I've actually never goes seen that to 45 pounds okay so it's awesome so there's lots of great tool i mean a medicine ball but what's awesome about this company prism is that look at the exercises on the ball so if you forget something or if you're like laser like i don't know what to do you can just follow a literally workout right follow there. the workout on the ball cool yeah it's awesome and especially the stretching mat as well it teaches you what stretches to do so even that in itself and grab the stability ball and do the exercises on it you have an awesome workout what do you love about in-home training in-home training for people that just don't feel like they have time to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You waste time in traffic. It's just an easy way to get motivated and not have to leave your home, whether you grab your family and do it, grab a friend, grab a list of friends. But working out in your own front yard or living room, it's kind of nice. Awesome, I love it. All right, we're gonna switch things up and talk a little nutrition with Lisa Reed, and we wanna get you in on the conversation. There's no bad questions here. We wanna hear from you, 703-387-1020. Lisa Reed, the founder of Lisa Reed Fitness, she's here to answer any and all of your health and fitness questions, whether it's diet, maybe you wanna lose weight, or maybe you're battling an injury. Lisa is here, so give us a call, 703-387-1020. 7, 10, 20. We're back and we're taking your calls right after this. Welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. Fitness expert Lisa Reed is answering your questions and we're taking your calls throughout the show when it comes to health and fitness. 703-387-1020 is the number to call. Lisa Reed, we're gonna switch things up now. Uh, we we're talking about no mobility in the first block. Let's talk a little bit about nutrition, but before we do that, we're gonna go to Paul in Hyattsville. What's up, Paul? Both of y'all look wonderful. Y'all have <laughs> tremendous bodies, and you have big calves. That's what I wanted to say. You have big calves. Oh, wow, but, um, okay. <laughs> that fitness thing with um, the bars, where you go over and under and over, that's good for people who have like a hip um, hip um, replacement, you know, like a yes. metal plate in their hip. I yes. think that, um, that really helps them out because they don't have to get all stiffened up and everything. Exactly. And then I want to know why I'm seeing more females working out more than men nowadays. Yeah, strong is sexy these days yeah. as opposed to, you know, years ago where women with muscles were kind of frowned upon, mm -hmm. but we're seeing it all the time now. Why yeah. is that? No more skinny fat. It's about strong and sexy. There you go. You all right. Fit and tone. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Okay, we're going to uh, talk about not sabotaging your weight loss goals with nutrition. 
So what are some of your tips? I know you laid out some talking points. Yes. Break us through some of those. Well, Break one it of down them, I think, us. all about in-home training tonight. Things you can do easy, well, in your own kitchen. Everyone should have a food scale. Like, I literally still measure my food at home. And I portion size it, throw in the freezer, and I'm good to go for the whole rest of the day. But when you measure your food at home, you're going to know, oh, that's a chicken breast, or that's a size of, you know, a size of pasta that you're supposed to be eating. So then when you go out to dinner, you realize maybe I can eyeball it better because you've measured it at home. And you know, like, wait, this is three times bigger yeah. than what I should be eating. <laughs> yes. And what, so, speaking of that, when you go out to eat, what are you supposed to do when you get these large portions? What do you do? I bet you have tons of tips when it comes yes. to that. Well, whether you share a meal, which you could do, or always just leave something on your plate. So never just like clean I'm just it all. gonna eat half. <laughs> yes, and then doggy bag it. I say dine out, divide, and doggy bag. I love what you do with pizza. <laughs> you may not have wanted Thanks, me to bring Aaron. that up, but even the sexy lady Lisa Reed eats pizza. Yeah, tell I'll me eat what pizza. you do with the pizza. Okay, I'm from New York. I love my pizza, <laughs> and I buy a. Like, order a whole large pizza and I divide it into one in slices. I freeze it. So then when I want a slice, I'll take it out, put it in the toaster oven, have my chicken on my salad, and then I'll have a slice. And it's I love perfect. that it's frozen because maybe if you're not <laughs> supposed to be eating pizza, you might think twice before you thaw that sucker out. It's like, do I really need this right now? No, no I don't. Pizza's good, you know, but it's not like it having good. three it's, slices. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> But right, yeah. What and are then, some of your other tips? The other one is about weighing. People sabotage their weight loss by like weighing in every day or weighing in on a Monday. That's like the worst time you could weigh in. Because you're coming off the weekend. You're coming off the weekend. You're not going to be drinking as Maybe much water. Maybe you had a little like too much sodium. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you went out too much. And then you're going to you know, feel sad when it comes to Monday when you're supposed to get on track. And you see that number on the scale. It does not do you any good. Okay. There's actually been research studies out there that Wednesday your, your body's more, uh, it's just fluctuated after the weekend. So if you can wait to weigh in on a Wednesday, you're going to be better off and have a good mindset and say, all right, I can do another strong week and that way in again till Wednesday. But I brought this Eat Smart scale. So this scale is awesome because okay. one, it measures your body composition. So it's got biological impedance. So it's going to measure your body fat, how much muscle you have on your body, um, your weight. It has eight different settings, so eight people could use it. Wow. So what's great about that is you'll see your body fat because people weigh in and they do a strength program. Muscle weighs more than fat. Right. You're going to be smaller, so you really have to to look at your clothes and how they feel and how you feel and not let the number dictate about what is so going on. So the scale on. may be going up but your clothes are a little looser which means obviously yes. you're gaining muscle. Right and what's awesome about this Eat Smart scale is because it, it actually has a body composition mm -hmm. on it so maybe the number didn't drop as much as you wanted to which is not bad like one to two pounds a week is all you should be dropping anyway and then for a long-term health, and then it will show your body fat. So it, it couldn't be better to have all of it one in one system. So you advise against weighing in every day? Because yes. sometimes I find it motivational, even if I know it goes up a little, it's like, Mentally, I'm like, okay, I have to stay focused. Well, it, you put too much stress on the yeah. weight and the number instead of just knowing that, okay, I know I can do this. It's steps I'm going to do every day. Right. I know I'm going to weigh in on Wednesday. I just came off the weekend. I'm going to go hard Monday, Tuesday. So I weigh in on Wednesday. Okay. When you weigh in every day, it, your body fluctuates with water yeah. even. Yeah. And especially in females, at that time of the month, you're going to gain at least three to five pounds. So you get all worried about that, it's gonna come off. Mm -hmm. Or again, like you said, you had a Mexican meal and the next day you weigh in, you may be two pounds more just mm -hmm. from intake of water mm -hmm. that your body's retaining. Okay, speaking of water, we're gonna talk about training in extreme heat when we come back, yes. but we also wanna take your calls. 703-387-1020 is the number. We're back with Lisa Reed right after this. Welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. We're here with Lisa Reed. And we want to talk about with the summer months approaching, training in extreme heat and what both parents and kids can do to deal with that. And I know you have some really great tips. Yeah, so if your kids or if you're like going a football practice, whether it's soccer practice, and you're going to be continuing a, a practice over an hour mm -hmm. and it's hot outside, you have to make sure that's when you weigh in actually before practice and after practice. Because every pound lost, you need 16 ounces of fluid. Okay. So an 
it definitely when you have over an hour of exercise that you need to be prepping, that you need to be drinking every 15 minutes and having four ounces of water. Um, you need to have an electrolyte replacement, whether it's you know Gatorade or Powerade, something like that that's gonna help replenish the sweat. It's not just water, it's actually you need the electrolytes of sodium potassium. What are some of your favorite um, electrolyte replacements? Because I know Gatorade sometimes Has because of the sugar. sugar. Yeah, so is that still okay if you're doing that much exercise? I never know when Gatorade is a good option. Um, what what do you like? Gatorade is only a good option if you're training outside more than like an hour and a half and it's hot outside and you need and those And you need electives. something. Yeah. yeah, and the sugars, you're just going to burn it right off when you're exercising. So that's actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. So when people are drinking Gatorade just to drink Gatorade, mm -hmm. that's not so good because it has too much sugar right and you don't need that so you don't can just drink, drink it on water. A, yeah only right. w only when you're doing at least an, an hour or hour more. Of exercise but also like weight like the athletes you have your young kids out there at practices in the summer weigh them in before weigh them in after if they've lost weight they must replenish every pound with 16 ounces of water 16 ounces of water okay mm -hmm. any other um, water or tips for people who may be like running or cycling you know that are going to be active this summer it's just you know you before four to eight ounces every 15 minutes four ounces and mm -hmm. then it's just really like don't neglect that your body needs hydration anytime that you're dehydrated like if you're thirsty you're already two percent dehydrated mm. so it's constantly you know always take your water bottle with you how much water do do you need I mean let's just say you're the average person not someone who is very very active what do you suggest eight eight ounce glasses of okay. water yes okay now you have an exciting um, workout coming up yes. you're gonna be at lululemon in Clarendon which is in Arlington tell us about that workout which is free we've got some information we can put on the screen for you tell us what you're gonna be doing there it's a it's an opportunity for yes. everyone to come work out <laughs> with Lisa Reed there she is Tell us about this event. Oh, I'm excited to join Lou. I'm going to play in Arlington, and it's 6.30 to 7.30. Meet, meet us at the store. We go up to the rooftop, and it's all body weight workout. And I'm excited because people don't know, like, I'm in-home personal training, and we have select boot camps around the area, and we don't have that gym. So now they can get the benefit of myself and the training methodology that I use and right. why I'm different. And so I'm so excited. And thank you, Lou, Lemon of Arlington. And, it's June 27th, 6 30. I'll see everybody there. It's free. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Lisa's got some special shoes on. And if you've dealt with plantar fasciitis or maybe you're wearing heels all the time or on your feet, these could really help you. I've, I've seen them, they're awesome. We're going to talk about <laughs> them really quick when we come back. Welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. We're here with Lisa Reed. And Lisa, I mentioned these shoes in the last block. We're going to talk about them real quick. The brand is called Vionic. Um, it's one that most people probably he haven't heard of, but it's really great, especially if you have something like plantar fasciitis. It gets that alignment going. I looked up the technology before the show. Quickly tell us about this. Yes, it's a podiatrist technology. So again, it's that it's a cushioning that you need. It's the way your foot places in it, and it's great for all activities. Now you got to make sure that you are, you buy the right shoe for the right activity. Mm -hmm. But something like Vionic is just nice. Like and especially, I have a lot of men out there that I train that have old sneakers you're actually gonna be more injured when you're wearing those sneakers so mm -hmm. make sure you check at the bottom of your shoes if there's anything worn time to buy a new pair of shoes mm -hmm. and I always suggest you go shopping because your feet swell when you shop and that's when you should buy it not when you first wake up in the morning you want to make sure that you're all day long your feet are swollen mm -hmm. to pick up your pair of and shoes and this brand but. would be great too if you're thinking about doing a lot of traveling maybe you're taking the kids to Disneyland something yes. like that you're gonna be on your feet a lot like they cushioning. have really cute sandals and all kinds mm -hmm. of like different types of shoes so you can check out Either Bionic. slippers or right, awesome. <laughs> you sent me a bunch of videos we're yes. gonna start rolling them because I want to show everyone what we're doing here yeah. so walk us so through this one this is with the prism boot camp pack so again there's 15 percent off it comes with all of this equipment that you see i'm doing a high knee wood chop it's a little cardio with the med ball which is a six pound med ball it comes with the mats the foam rollers the bands and it has different intensity levels the jump rope so you can get a total full body boot camp workout that's me on my balcony awesome but 
It's about in-home training and what you can do to really maximize your fitness this year. All right, what, uh, what other videos did you send us, Lisa? Oh, here we, we go. Have, we have some <laughs> lower leg raises with a stability ball. Again, they have great exercises. It's designed, they have really like a tutorial on the ball, like what exercises to do for your abs. So it's just like the, the medicine ball yes. that you showed me. So you can see the exercises on the mat. What's the next video? And there's tricep push-ups and getting back of the arms. Everyone that wants those tank top arms this summer, great exercise. You can drop to your knees as well if this is too difficult, modified. You're still getting a great arm, upper body, you're getting abs. All right, what's next? That's a little stretching, just make sure. And now the stretching mat, I mean, they have a mat that has full stretches on it, so mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Like everyone, don't just run out the door after you've worked out. <laughs> that's what I do. You have to cut, <laughs> what? That's not good for your heart. The instructor <laughs> will be like, now we're stretching, and I'll be like, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> no, you must That's stretch. probably why I get injured. Yeah, and maybe, um, <laughs> you know, it also you have to cool your heart rate down. You could have a heart attack. Like people don't realize you have to cool that heart right. down just as much as your body. Okay. And you know the increase of the heart rate, bring it back down, just like you did the warm up. Cool down is just as important. Okay, I'm gonna work on that, Lisa. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Lisa. You can work out with her. When's your event? Yes, June 27th, Lou Lemon of Clarendon there on the rooftop. Is. And if you have any questions for Lisa, you can email her at Lisa Reed Fitness. LisaReedFitness.com. I'll put you some videos together. Email me. There's a discount code for Prison Fitness for Father's Day. Thank you, everyone. Personal. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. <laughs>